Time for the best interview in baseball, presented to you by Snapple with Pirates left-hander Stephen Brault. Okay, second time you sang the anthem that came yesterday. Which version did you like better, one or two, and why? Ah. Uh, I think I like two better. I started a little bit higher. Uh, the first one, I, I was really nervous of not being able to hit the notes and sounding like an absolute idiot on TV. So I decided to keep it safe. This one, I went a little bit higher. Uh, it was fun. I was nervous. I was super nervous because uh, we didn't really get to warm up too much beforehand because warming up in a major league clubhouse is very strange. So just kind of went with it, but it worked out. It was good. Now, what I don't understand is why couldn't you have gone into the bathroom and warmed up? I mean, isn't that what Pavarotti did back in the day? No? Yeah, no, I mean, it's usually you have some kind of green room, maybe. Uh, and I just kind of went down underneath and avoid people. And everybody walks up and goes, hey, have you practiced? Hey, are you getting ready? And they go, ba 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 And it's like, I'm not going to do vocal exercises. It's weird. It sounds really dumb. Yeah. So, no. Nah. Well, Wait a second. Well, no, 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 Steven. I'm not going to – hold on, Kevy. Uh, I, I'm not going to let uh -huh. Steven off the hook quite yet. If you are doing – by the way, we're having problems with Millar's camera. We put him in the tiny world, apparently. Look at him he's, back there. Kev, you just, you so just hang out down there. I'll talk to Steven. Um, just, what what yeah, would a vocal exercise – if you were teaching us how to do vocal exercises, what would we do right now? Uh, my personal favorites uh -huh. are uh, My Me Me Mo Moo. Uh, so, my oh, me, yes. me, me, oh, me, going up me, that way. Me, 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 me. Right, yeah. so you get the different vowel sounds. And then yeah. this uh -huh. one's really annoying. Uh, it's where you put your tongue on the bottom of your teeth <laughs> and you just make an ugly <laughs> ass sound. Ah, like that. I like doing that uh, one too. Uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, okay. yeah. Uh, yeah, really good. You guys right. sound wonderful. Uh, sound like Smurfs. <laughs> Good. That's good stuff. See, you know what's funny? Last year we had your high school classmate, Joe Musgrove, and he thought if you were going to go pro, it would be doing something else. Listen up. Dude, it's so crazy, too, because um, in high school, Steven was actually more of a theater guy than I was growing up. Um, he was in a couple bands. He's uh, He did the choir program. He did theater at the school. And... Uh, he was a good ball player, but we all thought that he was going to take the theater route, and that was kind of what he was more interested in, was in the music stuff. And he went off to school, and I went off to play ball right away. And, you know, six years, seven years later, we ended up coming across each other in the major leagues. Well, is Joe on to something right now? Yeah, I mean, once I decided to go to Regis, small division two school in Colorado, like I wasn't. I wasn't going to play professional baseball. That that part was over. So, uh, <laughs> But Joe's not wrong. I always thought Joe was just like, you know, the baseball jock dumb guy. So good for him. Baseball worked out. Otherwise, <laughs> I don't know what he'd be doing. <laughs> He's going to love me for that. <laughs> yeah, that's good stuff. That's, hey, boys club right there. Now, th yeah. is it true that somebody on the Pirates is going to be recording in, uh, a record this offseason? It is true. I am. Uh, I'm working with Lauren Harriet, who you know. That's what Lauren told me. He told me to ask you a bunch of questions, but Lauren, if you're listening, uh, talking points are <laughs> tough to work into an interview. Uh, but <laughs> I, uh, I, we're working together to do a, a Broadway album, actually. So he's he's got a bunch of people coming in, session musicians, guys that have been playing in the industry forever. Um, it's the it's the same man, Lauren Harry, the same man that produced uh, Bronson Arroyo's album and uh, oh, and yeah. Bernie Williams when he started playing guitar. So uh, I'm really excited about it. It's gonna be very different. You know, it's gonna be Broadway music, so it's not gonna be for everybody. But um, I'm super excited about it. All right. So mm -hmm. when you are singing in a studio, like a recording studio, are you one of those guys that like puts the 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 hand next to the ear and you really like dig in and get going? <laughs> like, what does it look like? Yeah, yeah, this guy, like one headphone on, and then here you're, you're listening mm -hmm. to it, and then you move toward the microphone. Yep. Yeah, you got to move in, you know? Uh, yeah, I'm super that guy. I'm also the guy that, like, when I'm on the phone, I talk like this. So when I'm when I'm doing the singing in a, in a studio, I still get into it. I got all the hand movements oh, yes. and stuff. I'm sure it is a good look. But I feel like you have to, otherwise you don't get into it as much. I'm with you. I'm with you. All right, yeah. let's talk a little baseball, if you don't mind. Uh, 2010 San okay. Diego High School area. 
first team, second team, uh, you just ripped on Joe Musgrove, but he was on the first team, and you and Trevor Williams were on the second team. Uh, how often does he uh, hold that over your head? Well, he doesn't have to because we all know Joe is a better <laughs> baseball player in high school. There was no doubt about that. Dude was throwing like 96 <laughs> miles an hour as a junior in high school, so I didn't have that. Oh. I was like the lefty throwing like 84, you know, hitting singles because I wasn't very big. <laughs> One old change uh, up. But, oh, yeah, absolutely. Every time. Every time. Uh, but we had a really good team, so that was cool. Actually, our my senior year, Joe's junior year, he pitched the, like our championship game and threw a complete game shutout. So that tells you I wasn't – Joe was our number one pitcher as soon as he got on our team. So, I mean, it's just how it was. He was also the best dodgeball player, but that doesn't matter. Ooh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah, yes, it does. That does matter. Yeah. Hold on. Like, dodgeball, like, you used to be broadcast on ESPN 8, the Ocho? <laughs> Yeah, Ooh. so our high school does a big dodgeball tournament every year, and the, the baseball teams, um, they used to be called Roids. I don't think they let them use that name anymore. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> but they were, uh, the baseball team was always really good, but I wasn't allowed to be on the baseball team because I don't think I was cool enough because I did musical theater and stuff. So I actually played oh. on the volleyball team, and we beat the baseball team in the finals. Yes. So that was a good feeling. Yeah. Oh, that is good, good stuff right here. My spidey senses are, are, are telling me that we have a second team, all CIF San Diego teamers in this next picture right here. Is this true <laughs> that this is you or Trevor? Uh, uh, I am the one on the right. The one on the left is one of our relievers named Jeff Hartley. But, yeah, that the fact that I got to be Spider-Man for a day in a Major League clubhouse is absolutely ridiculous and awesome, and I couldn't love it anymore. Favorite superhero by far, no question. Mm. Mm. So that answers why well, we went full on just head on. Just nobody yeah, knows who yeah, I am. I'm, That's it, Spider-Man. Yeah, I don't yeah, have I'm, to be anybody. I'm, That's the whole point of being a superhero and wearing a mask. Well, maybe you should have turned into the Hulk when you guys take on the Cincinnati Reds? Because we, we, we've had a few issues out there on the field. Now, are you like one of those yeah. guys that likes to mix it up during a brawl, or do you play the role of peacemaker? Are you guys like, guys, just calm down, maybe start singing, everybody? Relax. Relax, you know? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm somewhere in the middle. Uh, depends on the situation. That that obviously everything got out of hand, so like there's nothing you can do. You just have to kind of try to help out as much as possible. Um, I wouldn't say I like to mix it up, but at the same time, like nobody's gonna back <laughs> down. This is our teammates, you know. You know how it is. But uh, I I tried to get in at the beginning, and uh, and then all so much crazy stuff happened. It was insane. You're really pointing me out. I mean, yeah, see, I'm in the middle. <laughs> A little pushing and shoving going. <laughs> Yeah. That's what I was saying. I said, during those fights, though, like, not everybody's throwing haymakers. Like, it's so funny when you get pointed out because you go back, like, it's between one or two guys, and then you hopefully a guy in the bullpen doesn't come in and throw. But, yeah, the other guys are kind of playing lovers. You know, we're not fighters, but you're kind of protecting each other, Chrissy. Make sense? Yeah, okay. I mean, you can't have if, – if everybody's out there throwing haymakers, there's going to be some bad injuries because there's a lot of people <laughs> yes. out there. So, like, people are just throwing haymakers. They're coming out of nowhere. That's not good. Nobody wants that. Yeah. So I'm but a lover, not a fire now, because when you become a dad. Yeah, but it's, it's fun. But when you become a dad, you're kind of like, okay, now you're soft, and here we go. I love what you do with your <laughs> little niece. Last year, you had her in your arms. She was just a little, mm -hmm. little, 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 little thing. And this year, you did the same thing. Are we going to do this all the way till she gets about, I don't know, 14, 15, 16? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to see how long I can hold her up without her getting mad at me. Uh, but for right now, <laughs> she likes me, so that's nice. It's like she's being forced into being a Stephen Brault fan because we got her, like, the little onesies and everything like that. So oh. now she has to be. She has no choice in the matter. But, uh, uh, but yeah, I mean, yes. it's cool. Our family is growing, so it's, it's cool to see. Speaking yes. of family affairs, when you took on the Marlins last week, it was really fun because um, Colin, of course, who plays on your team, got to face off against yeah. his older brother, Brian, in his Major League debut. Was there a little bit of you that was like, dude, that's kind of cool. He struck him out. Uh, it wasn't a little bit. We all constantly from then on have <laughs> told him like how cool it was and how hilarious it is. There's two things I loved about that. One. Uh, if you watch the video of like the family reaction, as soon as Brian strikes out Colin, their mom just starts hysterically laughing. Like she can't, she can't <laughs> hold it in. She thinks it's the funniest thing ever. 
And so that makes that makes me think like if my brothers were to do it, my mom would do the same thing. But uh, like it's so funny to see them like going against each other. Obviously, it's very rare to happen. But also in our clubhouse now, above Colin's name, we have crossed out Colin Moran and replaced it with Brian Moran. So oh, now he knows yes. who's boss. Yes. Yeah, <laughs> he knows yes. who's boss. Yes. Well. Well, the good thing is, or should have happened, is that he should have spent more, Colin should have spent more time with you in the batting cage because somebody went deep last mm -hmm. week in Coors Field for their first big fly. And you know we were going to show this right here. Talk me through it. Oh, yeah. Well, it only went out because it's in Coors Field. At least that's what everybody says. Uh, <laughs> but no. no, look at that. I, I know. I hit it pretty well. It was a good feeling. It was like a 2-2 fastball after he had gone two sliders in the dirt in a row. So, like, I mean, I'm a pitcher. He's got to throw a fastball here. And he did, and I hit it. It felt good. All my college buddies were there, so they all got to see it. My parents were there. Right. Um, it was cool. But that's a, it was a classic mix-up where, for some reason, during the entire broadcast, they were showing my parents on camera and saying, well, his parents are here. And it was true, my parents were there, but the people they were showing were strangers who I've never <laughs> met in my entire life. <laughs> no! That's unbelievable. Yeah, so. How ticked off were your parents? Yeah. I mean, I oh, thought it was so pretty good. funny, now but they... <laughs> My family, like my brothers, are tweeting at the Pirates, like, hey, guys, those aren't our parents. Stop showing those people. What are you doing? And uh, it just kept happening. So whatever. It happens. Everybody makes mistakes. How, how, how many career home runs do you have? I want you to count, like, from Little League to Coors Field last week. <laughs> I hit one when I was 12. I hit mm, probably okay. five in high school. And then I hit, I think, a total okay. of four in college. So this is, like, number 10 of my entire life, something like that. Yes! Double not, digits. Not a home run hitter. Yeah, not a home run hitter. Singles hitter. Just get the barrel and the ball get to the outfield. Mm. All right, brother. We got a couple rapid fire questions and we'll let you get to the cage seat and start going deep. You ready? All right. Yeah, I'm always ready. Which pitcher would you be the most upset to give up a home run to? Uh, Jake Arrieta. Can I explain that? Is that okay in rapid fire? Mm -hmm. Yes. Please okay, do. Uh, in 2016, my third major league start, Jake Arrieta was pitching against me on, when he was on the Cubs, and we had a 14-pitch at bat. Uh, I kept throwing fastballs, and he kept fouling, off, kept fouling him off, and I ended up striking him out on 14 pitches. But if he had hit a home run that at bat, I would have probably quit baseball. So. <laughs> yeah. That's him. good stuff. If the, if the Pirates had a re reality TV show, who would be the most compelling character? Let's go. Oh, gosh. Uh, most compelling character. Probably the, the one where you have no idea what they're going to do would probably be Trevor Williams because uh, mm -hmm. he's probably one of the weirdest people I've ever met in my entire life. <laughs> he's, he's the kind of guy that's, like, doing the crossword on Sunday morning while, like, holding his baby with headphones in, but the headphones <laughs> are blaring death metal. So it's really Metallica. confusing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. I mean, Love we're talking it. harder than that. We're talking scary stuff. Scary, scary push-ups and, and, and squats. Um, <laughs> were you single when you decided to go with this look? We got some braids here. Talk to me. Yes, yeah, I was. I really was. And I was very single, um, and I stayed very single with that haircut. <laughs> um, it's weird. I got a haircut, and I met a girl. How crazy is that? It's, what a crazy idea. I don't look like an well, idiot who? anymore. But it was fun. Yeah, who wore it better, do you think? You or I? We have a picture of this. But I was married at this time. Oh, my God. Kevin, no. <laughs> that's not it, man. That's like Bronson Arroyo, <laughs> except right. he had a good-shaped head. That somehow makes oh, your jawline look bad. How does that happen? It's just a bad look. I have a bad, like, shaped head anyways, but it's just a bad yeah, look. Yeah, so, yeah. actually, there's not a whole lot. It really we accentuates keep it. High and tight it. Now. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, I got that. I got that. I do that, too. Before we let you go, you got to take us out of here with something. I want give, give me your go-to 30-second shower song. Oh, my gosh. Uh, go, <laughs> um, I'll, how about this? I'll do, like, a little thing from one of the songs that's going to be on the album, probably. Does mm -hmm. that work? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yes. Uh, yes. It's from the musical uh, Catch Me If You Can. It's called Butter Out of Cream. Love the song. Uh, mm -hmm. It goes... Mm -hmm. 
Two little mice of great renown fell in some milk and one proceeded to drown. The other one still the toast of the town cause he made butter out of cream. Good? Yes! Unbelievable. Michael Bublé! <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, dude, save Thank some you. talent Thank for you. the rest of us. I mean, enough with, you know, uh, throwing in the show, singing like you're going to win a Tony and looking like you're a supermodel. That's enough. Wow, Thank that you. was well, that was really nice. I appreciate that. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go feel good about myself. Yes. Steven, it's always great catching up with you. Have a good off season. Don't be a stranger. We'll uh, we'll hook up at some point in the off season. All right. Sounds great. Thank you very much, guys. I'll talk to you soon.